What the hell is that? What is that damage? Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, we were on the test server last night. We were trying out the new legendary champion, Hefrak. And damn, he's doing all sorts of nutty stuff. We've got an RIP moment for one of my favorite champions in the game. Watch this through. I think we're going to see some fun stuff from him in the future. This was literally my initial play test, just trying him out. And damn, it was impressive. I guess we'll do a straight damage test first. So we know Trunda is basically the queen of nukes, right? 6.6k Trunda here with 252 crit damage. We know she's where it's at for damage. So we could do a straight damage test versus her gear. Because we could have a look at Candy as well. And I oh know we got Candy as well. So perhaps we're taking note of some of these numbers here. So we've got a 6.5k Candy. With 237. And we've got a... That's in Crawl and Savage. And we've got a Trunda with 6.6 .6 pretty much. 252. He only needs 70% crit. Oh, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Let's see what Trunda does first. With Trunda in the lead, she gets some buffs uh, for our team. Anyone who's new, welcome along. Please hit the follow button. Helps me out. Um, but even if you don't, enjoy yourselves. We're going to do a bit of testing tonight. I stream three nights a week. Uh, it's going to be Tuesday, Friday, Sunday from now on. Used to be Wednesday. I'm, I'm skipping the Wednesday now. We're going to do Tuesdays instead. Just fits my life better. All right, then. Let's do this. So Trunda on her A3 in this gear is doing basically like 420 odd thousand damage. Pretty much. Setting up our... Um, Candy is a little bit more difficult because Candy likes a veil. Candy does more damage when he's got a perfect veil up. So we'll do a Duchess setup here for him. I'll do. Same idea though. Same rest of the stats. So we've got about 400k, 410k or so Trunda. Obviously, Trunda does the double hit. That's why she does so much damage. And the, trun the double hit, remember what I was saying earlier? The double hit is conditional. Yeah, it's a conditional hit. She only hits twice if something happens. This is why I think Hefrak's actually going to be nuts. Because he's got the same type of conditional hit. Uh, so we've got here, Candy's got like a 300k smack. Yeah? 300k. Good damage, and he's not in quite as good a deal as my Trunda, in fairness. Now, Hefrak needs to hit twice, a bit like Sinatia. Uh, the ability is like Sinatia, so places an extra hit on targets with less than 50% HP. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's conditional, again. So it means that it won't always land. Okay, let's do the Masteries. So I don't need any more crit rates. Going to attack. Let's go like this. Like this. Doesn't need any accuracy. So you might as well just go in with fairly standard defense sort of setup. Something like this. Yeah, 10 books. I mean, it's not bad either, is it? It's not bad. And this is the nutty part of this skill, honestly. This skill here, I was talking about it when I was talking through my, my views on them. Imagine if you just put in like a level one uh, Morley, yeah, if you've got one. Or even just a level one anyone, but a level one Morley. Somebody dies in your team from like a hedgy hit. He straight up just comes in with the big slam. Straight up comes in with the big slam. And if it's Morley, then also you get the turn meter throw up as well. So if the big slam doesn't work, this doesn't go on cooldown, by the way. It doesn't go on cooldown. And you're ignoring defense. I feel like it could be nuts. Absolutely bonkers. What did we get to? We're slow, but we got 277 crit damage and 6.9k attack. So I've got about 
What's that? I've got about 300 more attack and 25% more crit damage than Trunder, mainly because I didn't need 100% crit rate. That's the main difference here. You also don't need the Arbiter buffing, which means that you can bring different buffs. So when you're doing a damage test, it does change it up a bit. Actually change it up quite a bit in terms of what you can do because you don't need the same level of setup. Therefore, you can bring more multipliers if you wanted to do it. So we could throw in like a... Um, what? Finity with Sky Magic, wasn't it? We could throw in someone like a Mashold for buffage as well. Right, here we go. So same buffs that we just had with the Trunder and stuff, but we get the extra Mashold buff because we've got an extra space. Uh, Mashold probably just pop someone over here. Then we get the self buff plus extra turn. Look at these buffs, damn. So he does need to hit twice. If he doesn't hit twice, it will be a weaker hit, but let's see what he does. <laughs> Was that like 600k? Was that like 600? Am I seeing that right? Was that six to 700k? Let's see that again. Hold on a second. Let's just play it on full auto as well. What's he going to do full auto? Is he going to do the right thing? I think that was about 600. Hold on. Hold on. That's like 700. That's like a 700k hit. What the hell is that? What is that damage? What is that damage right there? That's a 700k. -er. And it's only on a three turn cooldown. He gets it back really quick. He gets it back really quick. Oh my lord. Trunda out the window. RIP. Let's have a moment for Trunda. Let's have a moment. Oh wow, that is actually crazy stuff. That is. That's. That's like 60, 70% more than Trunda. That's like. 60 to 70 percent over the biggest champion in the game what is going on here is that right am i am i calling it right am i calling it right that's actually madness that is madness you see what i'm saying when when it's like they don't necessarily code it well Hmm, that is ridiculous. How much damage does Seer do? Well, I've done over a million with Seer before. Uh, not that you ever need to. Let me just see, on his A1, what is his A1 again? Let me just check his A1 out. Wow, that was actually mad. That is madness. Let's see what his A1 does here. So his A1, Places an extra hit if it's a crit, right? Um, okay. So it's A1's hitting for 300k as well, which is juicy. It's not the best A1 in the world, but it's not bad. But that is... Ooh, that is some pretty nutty damage. Trunda 400, Candy 300, Nefrak 7 hundred thousand damage damn that is obscene that's an obscene level of damage uh let's just think about this a second here how like nobody can one shot waves right up doom tower let's just see what level of damage this is worth here because you really, you need for him to be able to one-shot a wave now. This, like, for him to be a seer replacement for waves, this has got a one-shot. Yeah, this is what, right now, with three people going before seer, she will one-shot. Yeah? Fair? Because you've got two reset champions with a seer team. Add in Hex, yeah, actually, yeah, that'd be cool. He's not Void Affinity, so will weak hit. Yeah, yeah, he will weak hit. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, like, there's not many that can do enough. Oh, it's so easy. He does it so easily. 
He actually does it so damn easy. It's not even close. Obviously, I'd have to speed tune it so that I wasn't getting cut in and stuff, but it's doable. This guy is the real deal. Self buff. See you later. On to the next wave. Then you'd have your next Kaimar going. Wow. This, imagine this guy plus four. Yeah. Plus four, he'd be one shot in it. Damn. That is, I would tell you now, that's significant. We've had other champions come close. Ruel, Thea, they've come close. Trunda, let's just see. I mean, maybe I'm overreacting here. Let's put Trunda in that same squad. I don't think Trunda does it. I don't think she does. I mean, she does well. I suppose, yeah, she doesn't have her own increased attack and stuff like that. But I'm just trying to run the same team that I would have been running because you'd need two reset champions to do this. Yeah? You'd, you'd need two reset champions, which that's why a seer team's so good. You, you clear wave one, reset. Clear wave two, reset. Clear wave three. Yeah? This is a pretty bonkers champion. I wonder, does the level one thing even still work? It used to be that Arbiter would just go straight for a level one. I think they fixed that so that she would still buff. Let's have a look. So if I just A1 it, let them do stuff. They just want to do normal abilities. He dies. Oh, didn't kill this guy. I guess, did he weak hit there or what? Or was that reaction set? I'm actually not sure. But he did cut in. I can't fight again. He did cut in and do it. Ah, so he got put to sleep that time. Does he cut in between the rotors? No. Or did he skip? He skipped it because someone died and he was asleep at the time. You see that? So the mechanic there is, I don't know why he was asleep. I guess it was Kaimar. Kaimar slept. He didn't get to do his reaction and it actually went on cooldown. Interesting. And obviously, like, he only does the job if he gets him below half health on the first hit. So it's, it's actually, although he's a much harder hitter, and he will be very good, there's not that many teams that you, like, like the highest level that you just definitely will one-shot here. That's interesting, actually. 